So, back, <coughs> back to the drawing board again, uh, this time for the base, just explaining, uh, at least I think it's nice to have this board to explain what I do uh, before I show you. And uh, now we have the base uh, for the Seek 16 uh, mill drill, or lathe mill drill. Uh, as uh, shown here in um, sort of 3D, and then side view, top view, and the front view. Just uh, to s try to explain then what I've done, or what the problem was, or possible problems. Uh, the first thing I've uh, had, of course, the column mounted here. The column sits here. So, down here. Um, but to establish some sort of uh, geometry uh, facts, I wanted to have a possibility to measure the dovetails here, here and here, and in relation to the uh, to the base here. I mean the in-out movement, like so, uh, should of course meet the spindle, and uh, this meant that the spindle is, is sitting here, or rather like this, moving up and down like so, that should be in line with that uh, movement of the, of the uh, saddle and also then that meant that the uh, base here and the tower or the column should of course sit perpendicular, so exactly perpendicular that way and uh, that way. So uh, it seems to be like uh, this and this surface or these surfaces were um, in plane, uh, but when tested I saw that uh, when I moved an indicator from here over to here and here, meaning setting the indicator on top here and here and going to the left and the right most uh, flat um, parts here, I didn't um, uh, get the um, corresponding number so to speak. One of them was higher than the other. So not knowing really if that uh, flat here could be uh, taken as reference, I had to prove that. And when I um, when I blew it up, I found that it was just touching a little bit here and here. But the error I found was not that grave. But still, uh, I wanted to be able to ascertain myself that it could be used as reference. So I scraped it down and uh, also then matched this to that surface and uh, that meant uh, after a long struggle with myself i uh, i ended up with taking that uh, apart i mean taking the column away because i couldn't find any other means to prove this surface or uh, these also i mean i needed to have this off um, so i iterated between those surfaces really uh, both when measuring and scraping. And anyway, uh, this was then proven to be exactly in plane or coplanar with this. And uh, having a long straight edge on here and then the plate and everything that matched up. And then I proved that the error was really in one of the dovetails here, one of them being lower than the other. And these were also not mold, but uh, the attempt that made to um, to flake it was not really good, so uh, I'd rather have them. I would have wished that they didn't try that at uh, at all, really, just to uh, have them ground. But anyway, so I scraped that down also to uh, even. So now these are in plane, and this also coplanar to those plus coplanar to the uh, to the flats here. And uh, these weren't that bad really, but they, uh, I mean, from a geometry point of view, alignment, but they were not uh, really <laughs> meeting the standards for a static fit. So they needed scraping to match, which of course means that I have to take the, the bottom um, part of the column as well. But anyhow, now they are coplanar and I'm, I'm good with the uh, sort of alignment. Um, I didn't want to take the whole uh, saddle 
or base, sorry, off because um, um, this metal had to, to take off this, which is a seal also to the, to the lower part. And uh, I, for me, that was no point really because I, um, I couldn't do more with that apart than I could with it like sitting. So, but at least I had this base on three points so that it uh, it was sitting without any um, any uh, bow or, or or misalignment there just snugged up with jacks under here so it take up any force with, with movement but at least um, mass or weight wise it was sitting on three points um, the flats on the front here is for the uh, tailstock really I mean the tailstock if you use it as a lathe there's a tailstock that matches up to these uh, or mates up to these flats, flats here and then the tailstock runs in and out so um, I haven't bothered with this yet but of course this uh, also needs to be uh, perpendicular or perfectly aligned really both actually here and also of course and I mean centered and also then um, uh, not uh, off this way or this way so that's on, also going to be a, a test uh, but that's further on apart from that the base is okay uh, the major point I'm trying to make is that um, if you want to build this up to be accurate you want to start from the bottom and as far as I can see, this is the bottom of the way system and this should be in plane with the mounting of the column here. I might have to take off uh, the entire column here to find a good surface to which I want to reference the ways to measure the ways because take the reference here as a reference to the ways or at least match them up with the least amount of difference and um, find out uh, the where and then try to figure out what is the original geometry uh, it's not much worn so that shouldn't be a problem and I think that if I then can use this reference here or this plane as a reference uh, hopefully it's also in the same plane as uh, this so indicating from one to another I can find out because here I expect wear, while on this one, if it's machined accurately, there should be no wear, of course. Uh, but that's what I also don't know. I don't know if this is accurately machined. I just hope it is. I'm not sure if this can be trusted as a reference. I want to ideally to be using that also because this is easy when I scrape the ways here. If this I know, if I know this reference, but when I try to move uh, indicator from here measuring this way over to here I got a um, substantial deviation meaning that either these two are not in plane with one another which I can test with of course first testing the, the saddle on the on the plate blowing it up if that blows up okay and I put it on here and it doesn't blow up this means that the ways are actually out of alignment then i have the plane here which should be exactly 90 degrees um, to the waist here to be able to uh, precisely locate the, the tailstock the late tailstock here they have mounted some or um, used the uh, four sc screw holes and then two pin holes here but uh, there should be possibility to to do this um, differently I think with better precision another thing we can do when you measure the ways here uh, is to use the bore here of course the bore here in the casting should also be in line with this but uh, given that this is a budget machine you can't really be certain that all these um, let's say options are there for you because uh, might be that they are not precisely enough machined 
uh, two-way casting or two-part casting of course this sits on top here I don't need to take off everything if I want to use this uh, as it is I want to level it so I want to raise it a bit up on um, ideally three points or on the on the at least adjust it so that it is uh, level and to the extent it shows I've mounted the base here on one point here or a block and then a wooden block under each of the corners it's supposed to stand on four corners of course with the uh, adjustable feet but then on the front here I just snugged it up with the um, with jacks.